What's up, Sven? Yeah, what are you up to? Yeah, I just left Lupe's. We were gonna go to the game. Yeah, swing by my dad's real quick before the game. I'm having a couple drinks and you can come over. Uh, yeah, I'll come. Is it okay if Lupe comes too? Okay, yeah, Lupe can come too. Not a big deal. Alright, cool. I'll be there in like five minutes. Just let me know when you're here. My dad's not home. Alright, see ya. Bye. I think I'm gonna get too drunk though, cause my mom will be there. Oh yeah, that's us. Awesome. Oh boy. It's not too bad, it's raspberry. So. Do you want to try five or not? Should I take, should I just take like a pull and yeah, then be good? Pull. Like right now, like. Yeah, it's not bad. Well, not if you need a chaser, you can have some beer too after if you need it. A beer as, okay. Okay. Mental. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah, it's rough. That is gross. Ooh. I, I took a poll. Guess it's my turn. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Big dog. Oh. <laughs> Big dog, man. Okay, let's get a pick for a snap. Yep. Nice. Filter or no filter, though? I'm a no filter, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Up to you. Any caption? Yeah, it, ah, no, they can post feed it to their nomination. It. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Alright, that's the whole story. I'm not talking to you, Shay. You want one or just me? No, I'm chilling right now. Alright, These holes are so hard to make sometimes. Every time they scrap, I think it's just. I'll just go. I'll just go. One, two, three. Oh. Second. Get big. Alright, let's all three shots together before we leave. Down. Finish oh, off. Fill this up. Ooh, wow. That's a lot. No chaser? No chaser. Oh. Okay, oh. I might. Oh. No chaser. Oh, careful. Oh, careful. Oh, careful. careful. Okay. I actually think I'm good at this. I've been like so many. I'm gonna try and get a little shot of it in so I can still get this shit. Dude, that practice was so fun today. I'm glad that it went well. Yeah, we brought out. We're ready for this weekend. I'm trying to relax, go get some food, just chill. I'm down. You want to come with me? Yeah. You drive? Yeah, let's go to my car. I bet. What are you trying to get to eat? Dude, I've been craving taqueria. It sounds kind of fire. Not gonna lie, it does, but so does sourdough. I could go for a sandwich. Let's go. All right. The game's in like 10. We should probably go soon. Should we head out? Yeah. Who's gonna drive? I can't drive. I mean, I've only had a couple of drinks, so I feel like I could drive. And I do this all the time in school. It's every day, so. All right. I just saw my car here, so I'd probably have to take yours, but that's cool. Um, yeah, we have your car here, so that's good. Yeah, that's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, no, I'll be fine, I promise. Okay. You sure you're good, Spud? Yeah, no, I should be fine. I only had a few, and all right. it's just on the road, so. People do this all the time, I feel like, so it should be fine. Fun. Oh. Shot any in my car? That's yes. Not, that's not good. All right, let's go. I'm big. It'll be easy. <sighs> yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. A couple of drinks. Did you get to dance? Uh, yeah, last year she was. 
I'm pretty sure she has to be there, so yeah, she'll be there. Oh, right. then we can't drink that much. Yeah, that'll be sus if she's there. Yeah, she'll definitely she, talk to us. Yeah, she'll talk to us. That's like super sus. Yeah, we gotta like chill though, because my mom's gonna be at the game. You're gonna be at the dance too? I'm kind of nervous to drink before. Oh, shit. Yeah, but... You can't get caught. Your mom's gonna be at the dance. Sherelle's just throwing an after party. Sherelle. Yeah, one of those bangers. Hey, aren't we on the same bus or problem? Yeah, we're going. We're on that, that senior bus, right? Yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be so much fun, bro. Bro, we have our some of our baseball friends and I think some of my football friends will be on. No way. Uh, I'm hyped for it. We'll all the homies there. It'll be fun. Bro, I'm so hungry right now. I oh, know. I'm just trying to get this out of That food's way for me. Big time. <laughs> Did you figure out if you're gonna wear the bow tie or the regular tie? Um, I think I'm gonna go with the tie. Just because the bow tie looks kind of big. Alright, you should go for the bow tie. Bro, what's he doing? Hey, what's up? Emergency, what are you reporting? There's a car crash in front of Oak Ridge. And what's your name? Madison Lightfoot. And at Madison, and can you give me the uh, address for Oak Ridge High School? Um, I'm not sure. It's just on Harvard Way. Okay, and that's in Eldorado Hills, correct? Yeah. All right, is anybody injured? Yeah, it's really bad. They're really bloody. I see at least two people. Okay, and are they in the middle of the roadway? Yeah, one of them is. All right, I want you to stand in line while I go ahead and transfer over to the Fire department, okay? Okay, it's really bad. They need help. Okay, just make sure you stay in a safe place. We're going to get you to, uh, help to the fire department, okay? Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Kim Doyle, are you on the radio? Yeah, Don, I'm here. Hey, Kim, what's your location? I'm out at the stadium, lacrosse supervision. You need to head out to the front of the school now. There's been an accident. I think Seamus is a part of it. What? I'm not sure what happened. Shay, Shay, you good? Get up. Oh, my God. You're good. God. Blue Bear, you okay? No, what happened? Oh, Shay, okay? I can't get up, I can't get up. Jenner, Jenner. Bro, get up, Shay. you gotta be good, come on. You're fine. Oh my god. Tester. Are you okay? Brayden. Oh. Shay, Shay, Shay. Bro, come on. Jason, what happened? Blue Bear. Sack 44-120, if you could be sure uh, fire's rolling code 3. Okay. Uh, do me a favor, we're going to go over here, okay? Uh, start collecting some info, and then when uh, Austin and Murray gets here, we'll start doing the drugs, okay?
So because of you've been involved in a crash, okay? Based on your performance on the field sobriety test, I'll place you under arrest for DUI. Go and turn around, face away from me. Interlace your fingers tightly on the back of your head. Separate your feet. Relax your right hand down to your side. Relax. All patients transported off the Harvard incident to DOA, coroners on scene. You can show it. Engine 85, engine 86, available on scene. so far? She's up there. There's been an accident outside the school. Okay. Um, your son's doing fine. His file signs are stable. So far though, we know that he has, he's got an open femur fracture. He's had a concussion. The biggest thing though is he has no sensation and cannot move his legs. And we're in the process of getting CT scans to see what's going on with his spinal cord. But the concern is that he's paralyzed. I, until we have the CT scan back, I can't. I can't give you that. So it should be minutes from now. Um, would you like to see him? Okay. All right. Follow me. CT scan result did come back and he severed his spinal cord and now will not come back. <laughs> no matter what, yeah. And the good that comes out of this. this. I'm just so glad you're still here. Mm -hmm. Omar. <sighs> we love you, buddy, you know that. Thank you, sir. Hey, She was involved in a head-on traffic collision at Oak Ridge High School. Uh, there is a DOA in this vehicle as well. One, two, three. Her left AC there. Got some oh, oxygen to help her breathing. Okay. I don't know yet. We'll find out. Okay. My name's Michelle. We're gonna take care of you. All right. Where do you hurt? Right here. Where do you hurt? My head. My arm. Your right arm's a little beat up, but we'll fix that. So we're gonna get your arm Good filled. Job. Looks like that's the biggest thing. You probably have a concussion. So we'll get these things X-rayed. When your parents are here, we'll get them back there so you can see them, okay? All right, doing fine. 
this shit, okay. Get out of the car. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. All right, hang in there. How are you guys? Hi, Hi. How are you? Nice good. 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 First of all, I'd let you know she's doing okay. Okay. Um, what do you know? Not much. She went to her friend and, well, we know she was in a car crash, but not so much. She was in a car crash. Yeah. Um, she keeps asking about a friend, so I'm not sure if there's someone, there was someone I know that died at the scene. So it may be one of her friends, so it may be something you need to be prepared to. I don't know who that was, and I told her that I know nothing anyway, so. She um, was with her boyfriend, yeah. Right, so, um, so far what we know is she's definitely got an open fracture of her right arm. Uh, she's got a concussion, so she was knocked out. But um, all the tests look like there's nothing that's life-threatening. So she okay. should be okay, but she's going to need this okay. arm fixed. Can, and, can, can we see her now? Yeah, yeah, I'll take it to you guys back. Okay. okay. Yeah. There she is. Okay. Yeah, okay. Is she okay? We don't know yet, but you're fine. We're fine. fine. Okay. You'll be fine. You have to rest. Everything will be fine, okay? We're here with you. Everything is okay, honey. Okay? My head hurts. No. Everything will be fine. You are in good hands, okay? That's the most important part. You have to know that you are in good hands, okay? Anything in your pockets that's gonna poke me or stab me? No, just my wallet. Just your wallet. Go ahead and spread your feet out for me. Okay. Follow the black line in front of you. Make a left. Stay in front of that door. Look straight ahead for the camera. Smile big. Step on in here. Right here, to your right, your telephone. I'm gonna call anybody you need to. Mom, I made a big, big mistake. I'm in jail right now. I had a shameless and over before the game, and we drank a little bit, and I decided to drive. And I got in an accident, and I think shameless is dead. I really messed up, and I don't know what to do. Major laceration to the uh, left portion of his front scalp. Okay. He's got a bracelet on his left wrist. I'm going to be removing that. He does have shoes. I'll take those off. Go ahead and put your toad upside. Have a seat. We'll house you in one second. Hi, ma'am. My name is Detective Crowen. I'm with the Elmano County Sheriff's Office, Coroner's Division. Okay. Um, I am a male here that was involved in a vehicle accident, and he subsequently was pronounced deceased from his injuries. 
hospital staff has identified him as uh, Braden T Tester. Um, but I need to make physical identification. So I was wondering if you could assist with that. Tonight, a local community is in mourning. Oak Ridge High School in El Dorado Hills suffered a tragic loss this morning as two students were killed, two were hospitalized, and one booked into the El Dorado County Jail under suspicion of DUI. A candlelight vigil has formed at the high school tonight to remember the victims. of the people versus Spencer her is everybody ready to proceed we are yes, your honor and Ms. Petrock would you like to make uh, any statements or uh, observations with regards to what the court should do with regards to the defendant's sentencing yes we would um, please proceed so the state would be asking for the maximum punishment in this case which would be uh, 20 years eight months for the two fatalities and the two allegations of GBI, the state would be asking for the maximum punishment. Ms. Petrov, thank you very much. Appreciate your comments. Ms. Groh, would you like to be heard for the defense? Yes, thank you. You may proceed. Your Honor, this is a horrible situation all the way around. It is a horrible mistake that he made, and this is a mistake that this young man is going to have to live with for the rest of his life. This is punishment enough. The loss of his friends, his remorse, his guilt for the rest of his life. So we are asking for, if the court is inclined to incarcerate Spencer for the minimum amount of time. Ms. Patrock, are there any statements from any of the victims in this case? Yes, there are. I believe we have two uh, victim impact statements. I'm Shay's girlfriend. I was in the car when the crash happened. Spencer, Shay, and I made a careless decision of getting in the car and driving after drinking alcohol. Everyone is now suffering. As for myself, my head has severe damage. I have constant migraines that I can't control. I have memory loss issues, and I've had seizures at least three times a week since the accident. My life, my family's lives, Shay's, Braden's, Matt's, and Spencer's family's lives are now forever changed. Spencer? I want you to know that I feel just as responsible for the deaths of Shay and Brayden as you do. I let you drive my car knowing it was wrong and could lead to trouble. And it did. I will forever feel guilty. I will forever feel disgusted with myself. Not only have I lost my best friend, but also my dignity and my self-respect. Judge, I ask you to please be merciful with the punishment you give to Spencer. I have not and will not sleep at night knowing Spencer is forever incarcerated because I wasn't brave enough to tell him to not drive the car. Guadalupe, thank you very much. I appreciate your comments. Mrs. Doyle, would you like to take the witness stand to provide a statement to the court? My name is Kim Doyle. I'm Seamus's mom. Seamus was our only child. From the day he was born, he became the center of our lives. Before Seamus was killed, my husband and I had purpose in our lives. <laughs> Neither one of us feels any sense of purpose anymore. I used to love my job at Oak Ridge <laughs> and working with all the kids. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I can't look at a teenager without seeing Seamus. The judge, I don't want Spencer to go to jail for the rest of his life. I don't even want him to go for 20 years. <laughs> he and Seamus were very close friends. <laughs> But Seamus loved you, Spencer. He trusted you. He knew he could count on you. And I know it's not Jeff and I that lost Seamus. You lost one of your best friends. I don't think there's a prison sentence worse than what you have to live with, Spencer. Thank you. 
Ms. Doyle, thank you. I know how difficult this was for you. I had uh, been informed that perhaps the defendant's father wanted to make a statement. Yes, Your Honor, please. First of all, thank you for allowing us to address the court. Our son Spencer made a horrible error in judgment to get behind the wheel and drive friends while under the influence of alcohol. Please know that when Spencer set out on this day, his intentions were not to harm anyone. His decision to drive that fateful day will forever change his life and the ones he has impacted. There is no punishment that may seem suitable or enough for his actions. <laughs> his true sentence will be one of living with all the guilt every single day for the rest of his life. We also ask for the forgiveness from the other families involved. There are no adequate words for Spencer's mother and I to express how truly and deeply sorry we are for your losses. We understand firsthand as we lost our oldest son at the age of 16. We realize there are no words of comfort and regardless of Spencer's sentence, it cannot bring back your sons or make them walk again. However, Spencer is a good student, friend, brother, son, and we ask for the court to consider leniency on his behalf. Mr. Hurd, thank you very much. And again, the court recognizes that this must have been very, very difficult for you. I appreciate your statements. Mr. Hur, and it's easy to call you Spencer because you're so young, you're barely an adult, but uh, you seem like a, a, a very good kid who made a horrendous mistake. You had choices. You didn't intend anything, but nevertheless, the consequences of your, of your actions were devastating to all of the families who were here. So I'm not going to impose the 20 plus year sentence that the people have requested, though I can understand why they have requested it. It's not an unreasonable sentence to impose. I will impose a sentence of 14 years and eight months upon you in the state prison. I'm gonna ask the probation department to calculate the credits for the days that you've already served. That'll be credited towards that 14 years and eight months. I'm also gonna impose a $4,000 fine upon you to pay to the court. Ms. Grohl, Ms. Padrock, is there anything else that we need to discuss? Not for the people. No. Thank okay. you. We are adjourned. Thank you all. Let's go.